Hey, how y'all doing today? You know, it's your boy. They ain't got the plan back in with another video today. We're going to talk about the Knicks. The Knicks team or whatnot. The next team in the draft order. I think the last team we left off with was the LA Chargers yesterday. So today, I'm going to be talking about the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers, they just signed Matt Rule. So they picked their coach. They don't really know where they're going in any particular direction with Cam Newton. So, and they got real grip. So, to tell you the honest truth, I think what they should do, just for the fans' sake and everything, just let Cam Newton come back for one more season. See what see what's going to happen and everything. Just keep Cam Newton up. Uh, there or whatnot and you know it's not not as a well probably something like that you know so the fans so they can get a chance to you know have at least a shot at competing for something and then on top of that you can get you know rebuilding on you won't have to worry about the quarterback for right now you can you can put it off for another year which I think they should go with Cam Newton at least another year, you know, give him another year, fully healthy, and let's see what he can do. Because 2015, Cam Newton took y'all to the Super Bowl, so let's see what y'all do. Christian McCaffrey, that man is a dog. That man, oh, that man, Christian McCaffrey, is a dog. He was doubted when he first came in the league. I ain't going to lie. I was wrong on that one. I kind of doubted him, too. I kind of doubt him too. I, you know, I apologize. I got that wrong. I, I, you know, I just have to be better next time. Cause I, I just thought, that, you know, he's going to be too small. He's going to get broke up by the tackles and different things like that. But this man did put on a show. I mean, if it wasn't from him, Carolina wouldn't have won the five games have been, have been competitive in the games they was competitive in. So, I mean, yeah. He is a pretty good player. And then they got DJ Moore. He's coming on to himself. Curtis Samuel, he's still playing. He's, you know, he's going to, he's coming in there too. But DJ Samuel, more or less, he's coming into his own. They got, well, I don't know. It's a big decision by Greg Olson. Is Greg Olson, is he done or what? Or, you know, that's something they're going to have to figure out too. Is Greg Olson done or whatnot? Yep. You gotta see his old Greg Olson if he's uh <laughs> So yeah. Oh, Greg Olson, then they got to look and see about that offensive line, you know, get some protection out there because that's, that's, that's always the main priority, you know, making sure you got a good offensive line. And then about their defense, they defense, they got, they got a competitive defense, so they, <clears throat> yeah, they got a competitive defense, so. I think the defense will get a little bit better, but they do need to look at the defensive tackle unit. I think that first pick, it this is really probably the best player you can probably mock to them. Derrick Brown. I really love I would really love to see Derrick Brown on the Carolina Panthers. It just seemed like it's a match made in heaven. You get a guy Derrick Brown to go right in the middle of your defense and you know you just drafted last year Ryan Burns. You get Ryan Burns on one side. You get your boy right up Derek Brown right up the middle, clogging up the middle. And you know, really with the rest of your pieces, you can make them flow. So excuse me, you should be good off on everything else, but it's just getting the help for the offensive line. Getting Derrick Brown. Try, try and figure out your best way to get Derrick Brown. If you can't get Derrick Brown, go ahead and try to get uh, the 
the best tackle that you can that you can see or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, because that's probably two good things right there. So, and all season, let me see who all their free agents. So, I'm I'm gonna tell you who I think they should sign. Panthers. The Panthers. Panthers free agents 2020. I'll tell you who I think they should resign. Who I think they should just let it walk. Another guy they should probably look at in free agency is Jadavion Clowney. You pair him up with Derrick Brown and Brian Burns, y'all y'all gonna have some. Y'all gonna y'all gonna have a dangerous D line, bro. Jerry McCoy. Not really. I wouldn't really. Uh, Mario Madison. Mario Madison. Yeah, I would probably bring him back on the one you did. Derrick Williams. I mean, unless he just horrible, you you got to bring it back for the offensive line. Trey Boston, I'm signing this man Trey Boston first off the rip. I'm I'm signing him to a long term extension, bro. He's 27 right now. I go ahead and lock him up for the next two years, bro, because he he's been a guy that's been sitting and sitting and waiting, and then they finally get him. Even though he's one of the best. He's one of the best safety. He plays. He has the most strongest seasons coming just out of nowhere. He's one of the most underrated safeties in the league. So, uh, Vernon Butler. Yeah, I would definitely resign Vernon Butler. You know. And like I said, let me look at any free agents. I think they should pick up. I said for first starters, they need to try to get clowning. Try to get Clowney pairing with Derrick Brown and Brian Burns. Bro, I'm telling y'all, y'all going to be cooking with some hot. Cooking with some real hot. And y'all may need to look at, I don't know, bringing in a veteran, another veteran. Maybe y'all may need to think about uh, Robert Quinn. I know he's going to want some big money, but. Yeah, Robert Quinn, if you can't get Clowney. So, that's just give you two options. And then, I don't know. You might need to look at a guy like Ronald Darby. Tied to that secondary room. Sounds pretty good to me. Y'all probably need to get, you know, Travis Benjamin. He can be a real speedy type of guy for y'all. So, yeah. Alright then y'all, thank y'all for watching, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, I'm out.